this is me, Jane of Beach Talk, and I'm officially a young adult. In Adult Talk, we are going to talk about some tips and ways on how we can hopefully become mature, stable, and successful young adults. Many of the young adults like me have already graduated college and are planning to take up a master's degree. But we know na may kamahala ng pagkuha ng master's degree compared sa mga undergraduate courses. Thankfully, our Adult Talk video of the week is going to talk about a government scholarship that will give us financial support. In this scholarship, pwede ka makakuha ng as much as 270,000 pesos per year. Currently, I am a DOST scholar taking up Master of Arts in Teaching, Natural Science, and I have just finished my first semester. That sem, I have received 135,000 pesos wow! as financial assistance from the OST. In this video, we will be going over the entire process on how you can become a DOST scholar. Yeah! There are 7 DOST scholarships that you can avail as a graduate student. Meron tayong Accelerated Science and Technology Human Resource Development Program, National Science Consortium, or ASTH RDP NSC. For teachers, we also have the Capacity Building Program in Science and Mathematics Education, or CBP SME. For engineering students, we have Engineering Research and Development for Technology, or ERDT. Then for those who want to pursue higher studies in foreign countries, they have Foreign Graduate Scholarship Program, University of Alberta s and Graduate Scholarship Program, and for those who want to study in France, they have the Phil France DOST Fellowship Program. Lastly, the USD also offers the Science and Technology Regional Alliance of Universities for National Development. We will be making separate videos for each scholarship, but in this video, we will be talking about my scholarship, the DOST CBP SME. CBP SME offers scholarships for master's and doctorate degrees in science and mathematics education. For example, I graduated with a degree Bachelor of Science Education major in Biological Sciences. In my master's degree, I decided to take up Master of Arts in Teaching Natural Science. That's why I was eligible to apply for the CBP SME scholarship. This program aims to improve the quality of science and mathematics education in the country and accelerate the development of critical mass of experts in science and mathematics education. So who can apply for the DOST CBP SME scholarship? First, you must be a natural-born Filipino citizen and not be more than 45 years old at the time of application. You must be in good health and of good moral character and pass the admission requirements for graduate studies at any of the consortium member universities. Next requirement is that you should have at least two years teaching experience in science and mathematics if you are planning to apply for your doctoral degree or at least one year teaching experience or have graduated with academic honors or graduated as a DOST scholar if you want to avail the scholarship for your master's degree. If you are employed and you want to take this scholarship, you must be allowed to study full-time for 2 or 3 years. And if you are employed in DepEd, Form 2A must be signed by the school division superintendent and the regional director for your study leave. If you are employed but not in DepEd, Form 2B must be signed by the head of the university. In order to avail this scholarship, you must not be a recipient of other scholarships 
and be willing to accept the terms and conditions specified in the scholarship contract. Any concerns beyond the criteria of eligibility specified by the UST will be answered during the program orientation of CBP SME. If you think you are qualified for this scholarship, here are the priority schools and the courses that you may take. You may enroll in Bicol University, Philippine Normal University, Western Mindanao State University, West Visaya State University, Ateneo de Manila University, Central Luzon State University, Cebu Normal University, De La Salle University, Leyte Normal University, Mariano Marcos State University, Mindanao State University, Iligan Institute of Technology. Mindanao State University in Marawi City. St. Mary's University. University of the Philippines College of Education, Diliman. University of San Carlos. And if you want to take a distance education mode, you can enroll in the University of the Philippines Open University. If you are qualified and if you have decided the master's or doctorate degree that you want to take, here are the documents that you need to submit. First, you must have an accomplished information sheet. Kindly check the description box for a copy of the said document. You may also access this in DOST's official website. Another requirement is your birth certificate. You will submit a photocopy of this, but just prepare the original copy of your birth certificate in case DOST asks for one. 3. If employed, you need to submit a certificate of employment and permit to study. Please refer to Form 2. 4. You also need to secure a medical certificate which is found in Form 3. Another document is the certified true copy of service record if you are employed. Next, you need to have a certified true copy of official transcript of records, TOR, which specifically states the purpose for further studies. 7. You need to submit a notice of admission to the master's or doctoral in science and mathematics education program in the graduate school at any of the identified universities. You can get notice of admission if you have been confirmed to be admitted to the university you intend to enroll in. Number eight, you need endorsement letters from two of your former professors and lastly, a letter of nomination or recommendation from the head or the president of the university where you studied. After the entire process, let's say you have qualified and you have been accepted to the DUST CBP SME scholarships. Yay! Here are the allowances and privileges that you will receive. Kung nag-qualify ka sa MS program ng DOST CBP SME Scholarship, you will receive the actual payment for your tuition and other school fees, 25,000 pesos per month stipend, 
20,000 per year book allowance, one economy round trip fare for every academic year, premium health and accident group insurance, and if you will be writing your thesis, you can have a maximum of 50,000 pesos financial assistance. If you have qualified for a doctorate program and you are a CBP SME scholar, you will receive the actual tuition and other school fees for your doctorate degree, 33,000 pesos monthly stipend, 20,000 pesos per year book allowance, one economy round trip fare per academic year, a premium health and accident group insurance, and if you are going to write your dissertation, you can avail of a maximum of 100,000 dissertation allowance. Here is the step-by-step -step process on how you can apply for this scholarship. First, you need to contact the said school that you want to apply in. For example, if you want to apply in Ateneo de Manila University, you need to contact the email address or the telephone number stated in the USD's official website. In your message or call, you need to ask two important things. First, dapat alam mo kung kailan ang enrollment period for the master's or doctorate degree that you want to take. Second, you must know the application period for the DUST CBP SME scholarship in that university. Step 2. Prepare the requirements. Make sure that all of the requirements stated earlier are complete. And the next step is of course to pass or submit the said requirements within the application period. The earlier the better so that the head or those who are in charge in scholarships can process your documents earlier and determine if you are qualified for the said scholarship. Step 4. The scholarship coordinator of the university you intend to apply in will schedule an interview with you. In my case, it was a virtual interview since we were still in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. Para makatulong sa inyo, ito ang mga questions na itinanong sa akin at baka rin itatanong sa inyo. First, the interviewer will ask you to tell anything about your personal, educational, or work experiences. Aside from that, he or she will also ask, why are you here and why do you intend to enroll in graduate school? What do you think are the benefits one can get from being a graduate student? The interviewer will ask you about the graduate program that you plan to take and as to why you have decided to take that certain program. More questions that were asked to me were about my research experiences, if I have presented in a national convention or a national conference. And lastly, I was asked about my special skills or any skills that may be useful to me as I take my graduate degree. One last question, the interviewer asked me if I was a former DOST scholar and as to what type of scholarship I availed. In my case, I was a former JLSS scholar. That's it for the new SCCVP SME Scholarship. We hope you learned a lot from this video and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment it in the comment section and we will try our best to answer your questions. We will be posting in our description box the link of the official website of the USD for their graduate scholarships for any other information or policies about this scholarship. Adult talk ends here. We know adulting is tough. But let's add a talk about it. Bye!